Welcome back travelers, this is Slot of Havoc here, and we are on part two of Matter Overdrive Revisited. In this portion, we are going to be covering the power sources available from Matter Overdrive. But before we do, we're going to set up a little comparison to see if it's really that much better. Because trust me, it is, right? So I'm going to set down two of the earliest... Uh, sources of power that you can basically do with uh, thermal expansion. And that is the steam dynamo and the magmatic dynamo, right? So the steam dynamo, let me put these away. Hey, come here. The steam dynamo can take water and coal and create power, right? And it drinks up the water and num, 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 and it starts creating power and it's going to start outputting into the cell. And I use a block of coal because let's give it a fair shot. A piece of coal, you know, that does one. But a block of coal actually gives you a little bit of bonus, and that's why I'm going with that one. It's, it's the equivalent to 10 pieces of coal instead of just nine. All right? Then the magmatic dynamo is going to be rocking just a simple bucket of lava. And it'll start putting out power, too. And as you can see, it's starting to fill up. Then we're gonna come when those we're gonna come back when those are done filling up, and we're gonna compare it to some of these bad boys we got right here. Like, for starters, the solar panel that we showed you briefly in the first part of the tutorial. As you can see, it is already starting to fill up energy pretty decently, right? So this will be a really good comparison because now because this one's already done and we got 56,480 energy out of one block of coal and some water. And there's still a little bit of steam left off and it's cooling down or whatever, but you, you got to get the picture there. Now the lava, it's almost halfway done and we're just past 70,000. And this little, this, this little guy right here is already at 6,000 with just this one block and it hasn't cost me any other additional resources, right? And there is one thing you can do. You have the ability to add solar panels like so. And we'll put them on the back because it'll touch that one over there. And it'll just keep going up, 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 up. Now, however, you see these ones are actually uh, charging up and that is because they're not connected to uh, anything that's taken the energy from them. So if we were to grab ourselves, and this is one thing I forgot to grab, we grab ourselves a little bit of flux duct or whatever you know you want to use and connect them like so, they're going to start putting into the cell too. And now my six little solar panels, which by the way are really cheap to make, I think I already showed you that, really, really cheap to make, are now producing about a thousand RF a second. So, okay, that one is already passed what the Steam Dynamo did at 56,000, and it is flying past it. My lava just finished, and I got 180,000, and this is going to be there very, very shortly. So the solar power are really, really cool, and I don't have to keep pumping anything into them. Great, great system. Absolutely great system. But the Mamma Jamma of this pack is the Gravitational Anomaly. It's pretty easy to harness this thing, and we're gonna do it right now. The first thing you're gonna need to do is get yourself a fusion reactor controller. You are gonna place it, I believe it's four blocks away from the anomaly itself, and you're gonna get a little symbol here that says invalid structure. Now, next to the anomaly, what I advise placing is matter decompressors on, decomposers on both sides. In the middle blocks, like you'll see each one has a five block side in the middle three blocks. You're going to want to place these fusion reactor coils. Hey, it's, it's a weird thing with the shadow or the ghost image. It kind of comes and goes depending on what angle you're looking at it. I never quite figured it out. It's like only if you're looking in this direction. Yeah. I don't know. Or straight on from the inside, I think is what it was. Right. But anyways, and then machine holes in the rest of these spots right here. And once you get all these guys put into place, your reactor is literally ready to go. Well, not reactor, I'm sorry. Your anomaly is ready to be harnessed. It is freaking awesome. So you can see invalid structure, bam, valid structure. We have power. 
the charge is zero and the matter is zero because we've not added anything into it. But if you give a right click, you can see that this anomaly naturally gives 48 RF per tick in the situation that it is, right? Now this is where this bad boy is, you know, come into play. I'm gonna go ahead and give these guys just a little bit of power to get started. Let the uh, let these guys actually. You know what? I might do two extras just in case. You can actually place blocks on the inside, and you won't ruin the stability of the <coughs> uh, anomaly. So you can do kind of, you know, if you want to do something like this, just to get it started, because it can take a minute to get enough power to get these decomposers actually being able to process stuff in a reasonable amount of time. But I think we have enough power, right? So I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I'm going to grab just one dirt block. Just one. And it is in. This, my friends, is where you're going to see some amazingness. Because I don't need these anymore. This thing is now creating power on its own just from that one block. Let us put this energy cell on top, open it up, and it is starting to power up. Now remember, the power we're getting at this moment is strictly from that one piece of, well, grass, but dirt, basically, that we put in there. One piece of dirt, yes, we'll just leave it at that. And while that's going, I'm going to explain this. Like I said before, we're getting 48 RF per tick. The anomaly can grow. If you give it fuel, meaning anything with mass, it will actually increase in size. So that being said, I've got a little, you know, something, something here. Actually, you know what? I wouldn't mind throwing the piece of coal in here. I did have an extra... But it's still going up. I'm still getting, you know, power from the uh, the one piece of dirt. We're at almost 15,000. One piece of dirt, guys. One piece of dirt. It, it'll keep going. We'll we'll get there eventually. It's uh it's it's still breaking it down. It's still got almost 0 0.5, 0 0.05 percentage left of that piece of coal. So or piece of uh, dirt. So it's burning for a while. But anyways, that is a bad mamma jamma. And if I were to throw in like that piece of coal that I had and let that thing grind down. Oh, you know what? I, I take that back. I can't put a piece of coal. It only takes the, um, oh, what's it called? Let me put myself into survival real quick. It only takes the base elements. It doesn't recognize the blocks themselves. So let's go ahead and put half this stack of coal there and let it burn up. And then we'll put half a stack there and let it burn up and go ahead and let's see. By the way, the, this while charging this, it's also been charging these things on that one piece of dirt. Just just throwing that out there. It may actually run out of energy. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it may actually run out of energy at that point trying to finish it. So we'll go ahead and let that one finish uh, doing that piece of coal. As you can see, the power is going up and then going back down. But we're, we're going to get some awesome power. So anyways, what this happens is, if we add stuff, and I'm gonna throw one piece of quadruple cobblestone into there. And now, if I go back, that was one piece of quadruple cobblestone, which is what, uh, eight or so, nine. Nine times nine is 81, times nine is what, 272. So, a lot. Oh, you're, oh, you're, hey, there we go, it went in. Cool, and so now the power is gonna keep going up, 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 up. And you see, it's got some matter stored, and so it's doing its thing. So I'm gonna throw a piece of octuple, and I realized why I did, I threw it to the right, so it, boom! And bam, that is what you end up with. Look at the size of that bad boy. That was one piece of octuple cobblestone, or nine pieces of septuple cobblestone. Needless to say, it's a lot of cobblestone, but look at the size of that from just one, right? Now, if we take a look, we will see we're no longer getting our 48 RF per tick. We are now getting 1,000, or sorry, 12,426 RF per tick. That's just mayhem, absolute mayhem. And obviously this thing is charged now. And this bad boy is obviously getting charged. And this one is charged. Now, you can see it's only going up a little bit right now because it's naturally gonna increase because this thing's attached. Now that this isn't increasing, 
Let's do the real test here. Oh, let me grab one that isn't charged. This one's not charged. Nope, that has 180k in it. Oh, so that's where it ended up. The lava, 180k. No problem. Check this out now. 180,000 from a bucket of lava. Yeah? Well, what about my one piece of dirt here? One piece of dirt gave us 153,571. One piece of dirt. Can you not see how insane this thing is? Right? It's absolutely crazy. But it gets better. It gets much, much better. We're going to put these guys called gravitational stabilizers on it. And they are pretty freaking sweet. What they do is they help this crazy mumbo jumbo actually get under control. If I put him down, you see it just shrank in size. I put another one down, it shrank in size again. And I can keep doing this and keep doing this and it'll continue to shrink in size. If I go under the anomaly here and put one right there, did I put it right side up? No, I did not. Oh, no, the block's in the way anyways. Like, ah, there we go. Wait, what did you do? This is so hard to place this block right here when I can't see. Okay, so let's place it like, I just, okay, screw it. There we go. <laughs> there we go. And I guess we'll just build up a tower real quick and do it like this. There we go. And then we've got now one on top. Now we have six total um, gravitational stabilizers. And as you can see, this bad boy has shrank way down. Now it hasn't reduced in power whatsoever. It is still 12,428 RF per tick, but it's now kept in control. That is awesome. And it, you actually, if you look at these, you can, well, I'm on the wrong side. You can actually see some of the stats about the anomaly. It has a mass of, the, these things kind of glitch out, um, 43,100,816. Its range is 2183 with a break range of 1081. Now on my personal server, the break range is turned off on here. Uh, but it is, you know, on most places when you have the mod, it will break the blocks around. This is just a config setting. And also, you know, it's a smart thing to do. But we we're, we want this thing to get out of control. So what I'm going to do now, and this is very possible. I'm, I'm going to point that out. What I'm about to do is very possible. We all know how to make insane cobblestone generators where we can get, you know, just absolute crazy amounts of cobblestone. And so we're about to get out of hand with this. So we're just going to go ahead and just throw. Oh, I think I shifted all my stuff in. Yeah. Come on. There we go. We're going to throw all this in there. And you can see with the gravitational stabilizer, it's starting to get pretty big. Check this bad boy out. 24,928 RF per tick. So if we go back and do another little test here with our one piece of dirt, let it grind itself up. That is nuts how fast that just filled. Now, granted, it's just another 150,000, but that's for one piece of dirt. Imagine if I put something like, well, for example, a diamond, which has 256 times the mass or matter of that, uh, that little, you know, rat scallion piece of dirt. Imagine, just imagine how crazy it would be. Now it's going to take a while. It's going to take a long while to actually, you know, get this thing, uh, melted down or whatever, but well, you know what? Let's, let's, let's do something different. We'll do something. Ah, here we go. Let's grab some stone instead. Let's grab some stone. That's going to go just as quick. So a hundred stone or uh, 64 stone. It can't even, like, it fills up so fast that 
the stone doesn't even have a chance. Like it's not like it's working up to it. It just puts it out so fast. It is so crazy. We're already over 1.5 million RF from less than 10 stone and a couple pieces of dirt. You'll never ever need power ever again. Like there's no way to beat it. I don't think I've ever seen a mod where you can put out more power than this thing. If I'm wrong, by all means, correct me. Let me know. I want to play with that mod, but this is so insane. So guys, this is really, really simple. This is the whole setup right here. You just need three blocks and technically like this and this one don't even need to be here. Legitimately speaking, you do need to be able to add matter in. So you're going to need one, but you can actually do it from like, you know, an outside and you could just have these fusion reactor coils in these two spots or just one of them. You don't have to have two. It's totally up to you, but guys, look at that over 5 million, over 5 million RF in a couple seconds, just a couple seconds. This thing is insane. Get on it and get on it now. But anyways, guys, this is Matter Overdrive, part two of Matter Overdrive Revisited, the power, and it comes with it. So guys, look forward to the next episode where I'm actually going to be going over all the specialty mods, or not specialty mods, I'm sorry, specialty upgrades for things like this bad boy right here, where we can go to our upgrade section and throw something in. That's going to be in the next part, as well as weapons and other fun blocks that the mod adds in and how they work. So until next time, guys, I'm Slider Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace!